the new Nintendo 2DS XL? Wait, what? Hello everybody, my name is Skullkid, and welcome to another discussion video. So, I was browsing the internet last night, just like every day really, and out of nowhere I saw these small YouTube discussion channels talking about this new Nintendo 2DS, and it looked really weird, it had this weird thumbnail of this weird console that looks like it could be a rumor, so then I scroll a bit more down my feed and I'm like, holy sh**, Nintendo! uploaded the official new Nintendo 2DS XL trailer, and oh my god, this console, I don't like it, and I think it comes at a horrible timing, and there's many mixed opinions about it, so today I'll be sharing my thoughts on the new Nintendo 2DS XL. That really does feel like a long name, I had to re-say that like four times properly in the intro, but Anyways, there's many reasons why I don't like the 2DS, um, well, the new 2DS, because first of all, have you seen this console? It really looks like a toy, and I know that the 2DS is designed to be for kids, usually, and all that good stuff, but come on, this could not look more like a toy. If you look at the, the front panel, it, it looks like um, it has like grill marks on it, literally, for lack of a better term. And even in Japan, they have this white and neon orange color one. Um, I gotta say though, the uh, neon blue and black isn't too bad, but this machine doesn't look very good, the hinge doesn't even complete the whole console, the camera's been put back on the hinge like on the DSi, um, the back cameras are on the bottom part, lots of stuff, and the top screen looks like an iPhone screen, the speakers are on the bottom. One thing that I really see that's recurring from this new model is that probably to diminish cost, Pretty much all the electronics are in the bottom part of the 3DS, where the buttons are and everything, and on, on top there's literally only the screen. I believe that saves them a bit of money. And speaking of money, I really do think it's too pricey, because it's $150 in US, $200 in Canada, and... The whole goal of the 2DS is so that kids or younger audiences can play 3DS games at a more affordable cost for them or their parents. So the original 2DS being just 80 bucks and came bundled with Mario Kart 7 was probably one of the best deals on the market. Now the original 2DS um, I was pretty opposed to also because it's pretty much a slab of plastic. And the new one, I suppose, compared to the original one, is more premium, and let's not forget to mention that it's as powerful and all the features from the new 3DS XL, but yeah, I think it's too pricey, because uh, as I said, the original 2DS was the best deal if you were willing to sacrifice a very good-looking console, and the new 2DS XL, well, it's 150 For 200 you can get the full-on... 3DS XL Premium, I know lots of people don't care about the 3D, but it feels like a much more premium product. And the one thing I think is that they probably had started developing this console before the Switch and stuff, and then they didn't want to release it before the Switch, they didn't want to release it right after the Switch, and they don't want to mention it at E3, so I think now is the best time for them to release this console, except one thing that I don't agree with is that they released it at all, because we really don't need it. The Switch is already out, it's a portable slash home console, and Nintendo clearly says that it's the more premium Nintendo experience, but, like, we're fine with the 2DS and the new 3DS XL. Like, that's all we need. We don't need this new 2DS, and I think it's just not really worth it. So, I mean, I, I could stay here and criticize this for ages and ages, because I don't think, I don't like the product, I don't think it's useful, but, I mean, in another way, it doesn't really do any harm to anyone, 
but yeah, I don't think the design is good. It really does look like a toy, especially if you look at the front. It looks like it's made out of cheap plastic. Now it's probably the exact same material as the new Nintendo 3DS, kind of, but I don't know about that hinge. It looks weird. That's all I can say, and the price, all that stuff, I don't think it's so good for Nintendo. The only positive thing is that it might mean more support for the 3DS in the future. So, anyways guys, let me know what you guys think about the new Nintendo 2DS XL. It really does feel like a mouthful to say. But will you be picking it up? Do you think it has its place? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it should even exist? I think it's a bad timing. I don't think we needed this console. But it's up to you guys to tell me down in the comments below. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to share this video with all your geeky Nintendo nerds out there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Skull Kid Gaming for more on Nintendo and all things gaming right here on Skull Kid Gaming. Have a great day everybody and I hope to see you in the next video.